I believe that the, the minister should have gone around, checked to see how much rosewood is already cut, sitting on the ground, exposed to the sun. When the, the sunlight will cause them to crack, that means that the value will go down, people will get less, you know, a less price for the, for the product. They need to get those rosewood off the ground and shipped out of this country, if that's where it's going, out of the country. So you think this is not a wise decision to have declared the moratorium? No, they could have declared the moratorium after cleaning up what is on the ground. Otherwise, people will lose. It's all on the ground, and people now are covering it up with leaves to protect it from the sun. Because the sun will crack the, the, the rosewood. Some people have borrowed a tremendous amount of money to buy rosewood. And, and you know every day the clock is ticking, the interest rates on those loans are going up, and this, this has people concerned. Um, we did some interviews in, in some of the villages in, in the Toledo district and like I said before, the, the maximum income that these people make is about $2,500 a year. That's it. Out of that money they have to buy their, the, the rice they need or if they need corn or sugar, things that they cannot produce. That is what they use that money for. Outside of that you have education costs that they have to cover. And this rosewood business right now is an opportunity for them to make a little extra money. And they are quite happy with that because they need it. It is not that, that they just want to damage the forest. They need it. The forest is there. They use the name of the Maya all over the world. And the Maya gets nothing in return. So once they start doing something now for themselves, all of a sudden it's bad. I don't know if they did an evaluation of Hurricane Iris and all the care and the grumbling about the Columbia Reserve. Hurricane Iris in half an hour destroyed, destroyed, and I'm not, I'm not just destroyed that forest. Now which one is more important? To leave it there for the insects, for it to rot, rather than make people make a living from it? And like we said a while ago, the, the, the rosewood will grow. They can only cut a certain size rosewood. This is where the controls come in. This is where the forestry department come in. This is where the NGOs come in. If they are so concerned, let them go out there and monitor what is happening out there. They make enough money to go out there and do the monitoring and make sure that they control it. Man, we have been doing logging in the Toledo district from the time I was in Diapas, man. Uh, and we are still doing logging today, more than 60 years. And we are still doing it, so it's still there because we were protecting it all along. We were only allowing people to cut a certain size of trees. And this can also continue, man. The, the Prime Minister had a former Minister of, of Forestry. He has now been removed from that department, maybe because he did not see it fit to, to stop the cutting of the rosewood. So one of the, the ways to change that was to just put another minister there that will do whatever they are told to do. But in the meantime, it is hurting the people in that district.